Thank you so much. We are ready for it. Thanks, Ian. Well, after getting life-altering news, William Douglas decided to give new life to his woodworking studio. So he wasn't going to let a health condition stop him from sharing his compassion for timeless furniture design. And today, it's a case study coffee lounge. So Jamie's out there checking it out in today's local love. Can't wait to see this place. Good morning, guys. I am over at 16th Street in Camelback, where they say the story pretty much in neon right here. A craftsman never dies. In fact, he evolves. And that is what has happened right here at Case Study Coffee Lounge. I want to introduce you to furniture maker, uh, woodworker, William Douglas, also shift shaper, <laughs> as you've recreated yourself, William. Tell me about your story. Uh, so I... I had to let go of woodworking, which was my first love and passion, thing that I've been doing for the past 12 years, and, because I developed an allergy to most woods. So um, there's a little grieving process there that I had to get through, but this was my previous wood shop and studio, and it's been repurposed into a coffee lounge, and it's been amazing. So you went to coffee because this was the space that we're standing in right here, where you met with clients who yeah. were commissioning work from you, and, and you served them coffee, you wanted to provide them an elevated experience. When you found out you were allergic to most trees and couldn't do what you had always been doing, why did you go to coffee? Honestly, it made the most sense. I have, I've been serving it to my clients and to uh, also my employees, and I've loved coffee for a long time. And um, it was the most logical pivot for me because I had the furniture here, I had the coffee set up here, we had a beautiful location, a beautiful space, and um, it just it felt right. It felt right. It felt like it was the right thing to do. You told me it's been feeling right yeah. with the community response too. Yeah, so I think we've had a lot of early success. We've only been open about 10 months now, and um, I think people are coming in here and really just seeing and feeling something different. Everything is craft. You can kind of feel there's like the human element everywhere, and uh, I, I just love seeing that, seeing that happen. Shall we talk about the coffee? Yeah. They say a craftsman, so you uh, shifted into the coffee. You roast your beans. What is this one right here? I believe this one's a brown sugar sage. Is that right, Zach? Brown sugar sage here on the left. It's a house-made syrup. And then we have a vanilla rosemary on the right. Um, like Most of our syrups are house-made, and my, my wife actually does them, and she gets a little um, shout-out to her. Love you, babe. Yeah. She gets, a, she gets a really creative with trying to just create unique experiences for people to come in and enjoy. You love a collaboration. Uh, behind me, we have a peekaboo window where we can see into the kitchen. They do pop-up chef experiences. There is one happening today. I'm talking a brisket breakfast burrito. I'm talking uh, avocado toast with bone marrow. And we have barely even stepped into this coffee shop. So we're going to take a look around. We're going to talk more about the furniture. Plus, uh, William here has a huge following when it comes to teaching. We're going to talk about his plans to pivot yet again to continue to create. It is Case Study Coffee Lounge. Also, a shout out to our producer, Lauren because she is a coffee connoisseur. She's got a map of the valley. She visits all of them. And she said, Jamie, you got to start the new year right here. Oh, that's this cool. place is special. That's fantastic. So. Didn't know that about Lauren. Yeah, thank Very you, Lauren. cool. Yeah. <laughs> Love that he's yeah. turned this into what it is now.